So if you're looking to do advertising on Facebook, the very first step is to actually set up the Facebook pixel, which allows Facebook to track the traffic that you're sending to your site. So in this video, we're gonna go through how to set that up both in Facebook and your Shopify store. So make sure to stay tuned. If you're new here, thank you so much for joining us. My name is Elle McCann and I have been a Shopify expert for over six years now. If you're already a subscriber to this channel, thank you so much for staying tuned and watching another video. We really appreciate you. Okay, so in this video, we're going to go through setting up the Facebook pixel. It's actually a pretty easy process of setting up in Facebook and Shopify, but I see so many people get confused and get frustrated that they're not setting it up correctly or they're just worried that they're wasting money because they didn't set it up correctly the first time. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to set that up. But first off, we wanna talk about why it's so important that you actually set this up on your store. So you'll get that pixel installed on your store or website, and then Facebook can actually track the people that are coming to your store and what they're doing on your site. So if they're viewing a page, if they're signing up for your email newsletter, if they're adding a product to their cart, or if they're purchasing. Facebook tracks all of this information and the algorithm starts to build out kind of a, a knowledge base of who is more likely to click to your site, who's more likely to purchase, and then they optimize their ads to make sure that they are sending the direct people that are more likely to hit your objectives that you've set up for the ad to your store. So it's super important that you have this set up because it's gonna have your ads perform better. Okay, so now that you know why you need it, let's hop into my computer screen and I'm gonna show you how to set it up. So we're in the back end of my Facebook Ads Manager now, and you can see here I don't have any campaigns running yet, but you can get here by going to business.facebook.com backslash ads manager, and you can also get in here to from your personal feed. So we are going to first go in and set up this pixel now. So to do this, we're going to click on the hamburger menu in the top left hand corner. And then we're going to go to all tools and pixels. Now I already have a Facebook pixel set up, but I don't actually have it set up on my site. Uh, so if you don't have this yet, you'll th then just hit the set up pixel button. So I'm going to go ahead and just hit set up pixel to go ahead and get the code to put this on my Shopify store. So now I have a pop-up box. So you have a couple different options of how you can install the pixel. You can do this first one of email instructions to developer or manually install the code yourself. However, if you have one of a third party platform that you're using like Shopify or another e-commerce provider, you can use this connect a partner platform tool, which makes it super simple. So we're gonna go ahead and choose that option. And now we get a list of all of the different platforms that we can connect to it. So for this tutorial, we're gonna do Shopify. We're then gonna turn on automatic advanced matching so that we can better match the information with Facebook and find our audience online. We're gonna hit next, and then it's just showing you how to set it up in the back end of Shopify. However, I'm gonna take you through that now, so we're just gonna hit continue. We then get our actual pixel ID code. So we're gonna copy this, and then we're gonna head over to the back end of our Shopify store. I'm then going to click on online store in the left-hand menu, and then from there, the submenu, I'm gonna click on preferences. We're gonna scroll down and in the Facebook pixel area, I'm gonna paste in that pixel code that I had gotten before and I'm going to then hit save. So if we go to our online store, we can check and make sure that this is working correctly by using a free Google Chrome extension called Facebook Pixel Helper and I will put a link to that in the description below but you can install this extension to your Google Chrome browser. And then if you click on it, you can actually see that it is successfully sending the information to Facebook. So you can see here, we have our Facebook pixel ID pulling in and that it's tracking page view by us going to this site. 
Now if we head back to our Facebook ads manager, we're just gonna hit continue to keep going through. And we're gonna do this last step, which is just verifying that our pixel is working and that everything's working with the connection with Facebook. So we're just gonna hit test events and events manager. And this is opening up a new page and we're just gonna put our website URL that we want to test out. So I'm just gonna put the URL total and then hit the open website. It's now taking us to our store again and we can see back here in Facebook that it is pulling in. It's saying that it's receiving the data and you can see at the top that the status says active and we've got page view is being counted. And that's all you have to do, you've got it set up. I hope you found that tutorial helpful. And if you're interested in more step-by-step -step in terms of how we're setting up our ads and our Facebook and Pinterest ad strategy, make sure to check out curiousthemes.com traffic and download our traffic blueprint guide where we go through exactly how we do our different paid advertising strategies, how we optimize our site for a sale and our overall marketing plan. So make sure to check that out. Comment below and say yes that you've got your Facebook pixel set up or let us know if you have any trouble and we're happy to help. Also, if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe to this channel to be the first to be notified anytime we put out a new video all about Shopify and how to grow your online store.